Battleship Park Executive Director Janet Cobb is taking a look at the damage caused when a driver plowed his vehicle into the Korean War Memorial early Sunday morning. We have to assess the damage. We'll get a monuments company or several to come out and give us some estimates on what we can do to either repair this one or if that the back the big back piece that's broken into three sections, the map of uh, South Korea, North Korea, if it has to be replaced. Spanish Fort Police said the man was seen by boats at the Bass Pro Shop when he ran from officers. The chase led to the causeway, then the man turned into Battleship Park where he crashed into the monument. Police say the vehicle caught fire. They searched for him for a while, but because he wasn't immediately found, Cobb said she was concerned for employees and visitors. I would assume he's long gone, but you, you really can't say because this is a, uh, a big park, 155 acres. Cobb says before the man crashed into the Korean War Memorial, he crashed through this chain link gate leading into the park. Crews are now making repairs. Blew it open. Uh, came here, uh, hit the Korean War Memorial, did this damage, and that he fled on foot. Cobb says the park is insured, but they'll determine if they can pay for repairs first before filing a claim. At Battleship Park, Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.